morning children today we are going into the next lesson in science food for health when you heard the name food itself we are very happy isn't it because we all like to eat nice nice tasty things isn't it so just look into this video which you can see here first What are the things you can see in this video? different kinds of foods isn't it food that we eat shall i ask you a question why do we eat food why do we eat food yes we know the main thing why we eat food is to keep us healthy isn't it food is the basic need of a organism so for human being it is a basic need without food we will die we cannot stay alive for many days without food so food is very very essential for us and tasty food we have because we like certain types of food isn't it so we eat food for life do we eat food only for life does the need of eating food yes if we need a good life we have to stay healthy so food helps us to be healthy good food helps us to stay healthy isn't it so in today's lesson we are going to learn about food so what is the meaning of healthy food healthy food is not all the food what you saw in the video which you can eat okay once in a way eating different types of food is good but always the food what we eat should be healthy so in food the food is classified into different categories that is the food contains different nutrients so a healthy food means a food which contains all the nutrients and minerals in the needed quantity that is called as a balanced diet we know isn't it so which are the nutrients which are present in the food we eat we are going to learn in detail about the different nutrients which are present in the food and how it helps our body how it helps us to stay healthy so the first nutrient what we are going to learn is carbohydrate i hope you have uh, you know what is carbohydrate look into this picture this is a picture from the textbook which you have we can see different things there isn't it paddy is there a packet of oil is there then fish is there and fruits and vegetables are also there what are the different nutrients present in them yes we know in rice paddy contains carbohydrate then in oil it contains fat fish and meat egg contains proteins fruits and vegetables contains all the minerals and vitamins so these are the things these are the different nutrients which are present inside the food we eat so now today we are going to learn what is carbohydrate and how can we know the presence of carbohydrate in the food we eat 
So what is carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is something which is present in the food we eat. How does this carbohydrate come inside the plants? Food means the main food giving organism is plants, isn't it? All the animals depend on plants for their food. We know that. So how does the plants get this carbohydrate? Do you know? In the previous class in 5th standard, you would have learned about photosynthesis. And in the previous science lesson also, teacher has explained a little bit of photosynthesis. Isn't it? During photosynthesis, what happens? What is the process of photosynthesis? The plants prepare food in the presence of sunlight. Isn't it? So what does the plants do? It absorbs sunlight. It absorbs the water and minerals from the soil. Isn't it? And with the help of chlorophyll, it prepares food and it gives out oxygen. Isn't it? It produces oxygen plus glucose. It produces oxygen plus glucose. So during photosynthesis, in the presence of sunlight, it takes in carbon dioxide, it takes the water and minerals from the soil and with the help of chlorophyll, it prepares food and it produces something. So it produces oxygen and glucose. So what happens to the oxygen? Oxygen is left out through the pores, through the stomata, it is left out into the air. And it stores the glucose which is produced in different parts of the plant in the form of starch. In the form of starch. So it is producing glucose. Glucose is another form of starch. So it stores this starch in different parts of the plant. It can be in the leaf, it can be in the stem, it can be in the root. And that starch is used by us to eat. That starch contains carbohydrate. So what is, the carb what is carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is carbon plus oxygen plus hydrogen. Carbohydrate. So what is carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is a combination of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So we know that the plant is taking in carbon dioxide, isn't it? And in the presence of, with the help of minerals and salts and water and carbon dioxide, it produces food. So the glucose or the starch which is stored inside the different parts of the plant contains carbohydrate. What is carbohydrate? It is a mixture of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So this much did you understand? Now why is carbohydrate needed for us? We all know that we do different types of physical activities. In your text they have used the word physiological activities. What are these physiological activities that we do every day? Look into this video. You can do the, see the different physiological activities that we do every day. So what are the physiological activities? We run, we walk, we sit, we stand, we eat, swim and also we sleep. So these are the different physiological activities that we do every day. And to do 
physiological activities we need energy isn't it we need energy to run we need energy to walk we need energy to talk we need energy to sleep also we need energy you must be thinking why we need energy to sleep just imagine some day you are angry with your mother and you don't want to eat anything you say today i'm not going to eat anything and you're just going to sit and lie down so the whole day you did not eat can you sleep at night you will not be able to sleep at night you will be so hungry your body will be so tired that you will not get sleep also at night okay so to do all these physiological physical activities we need energy and from where do we get this energy we get this energy from the food we eat and the main energy is got from the carbohydrate because it contains carbon hydrogen and oxygen it contains glucose it contains starch which gives us energy to do the different physiological activities now we eat uh, different types of cereals and tubers isn't it which are the cereals that we eat yes rice paddy maize millet all these things are different wheat all these things are different type of cereals and also tubers which are the tubers we know tapioca potato all these are underground things what we get isn't it so all these contains lot of carbohydrate that is why carbohydrate is the main meal of the day isn't it what is the main meal of the day what we eat we eat a lot of carbohydrate in the form of rice morning in the form of breakfast different types of breakfast things what we make contains lot of carbohydrates so carbohydrates are present in the morning breakfast such as idli dosa that is that is made out of rice so carbohydrates are present in large quantity in cereals and tubers okay so the carbohydrate is the main food what we eat why do we eat a lot of carbohydrate because it gives us energy to do all the different activities of the day now we are going to do a small test okay to see the presence of carbohydrate we are going to do a carbohydrate test it's an experiment which is given in our textbook how can we detect the presence of starch i told you glucose is stored as starch and starch contains carbohydrate so the food we eat contains starch so how do we need know that the food contains starch for that we are going to do an experiment for that we need a little bit of iodine you know that iodine is a thing which we can use this iodine solution uh, when you uh, fall down and break your hand in school uh, the teacher puts and gives you a red color solution isn't it and also you have this iodine provident uh, tube at home when you fall down when you cut a cut you put this so all these contains iodine so this is uh, the real iodine i did not get because i am at home i have bought this tincture iodine from the medical shop so if you go to the medical shop you can get this tincture iodine it is very uh, it is not much costly it's only 20 rupees so if you want to do this iodine test from home in the presence of your parents you can buy this iodine from the medical shop so i have got this iodine with me so with this iodine solution we are going to do the different test to find out whether there is uh, starch in carbohydrate so how do we know that there is starch in the different food we eat that is when we add iodine solution to the food if it turns into dark blue color then that thing contains starch okay so the food we eat when we add iodine solution to it it turns into blue color so if it is turning into blue color then it contains starch so here i have taken rice the normal rice which we eat so to this ri rice i am adding two drops of iodine i hope you can see
can you see so here what has happened it has changed into very dark it's not black it is dark blue color so when it turns into dark blue color we know that rice contains starch because it has turned into navy it is navy blue color dark blue color now i have a little bit of congee water so i am taking congee water here in a test tube and i am adding add into it see the congee water has turned into dark blue color can you see so that means the congee water okay the gruel water congee water contains starch so this also you have seen now i am taking another thing we said so rice comes under cereals okay rice comes under cereal now i am taking potato potato come under tubers isn't it potato i have taken and i am adding a drop of look at this potato i am adding uh, i have added a drop of so now this potato also has changed its color into dark blue so the potato contains here you can see you can see here potato also contains carbohydrate or it contains starch now i am taking another thing just for you to uh, know that there are things which does not contain starch okay i have onion piece here i have an onion piece now i am going to put this on an onion piece what is the color of this onion did it change into dark blue color did it change into dark blue color no isn't it why doesn't it change into dark blue color yes that is because onion does not contain carbohydrate or it does not contain starch okay so this is a very small experiment which i showed you you have to write this experiment down in your notebook but before writing if you can do this test at home using the thing which i told you either you can buy this tincture i didn't from the medical shop please don't trouble your parents if they buy and give you you do or else you can do the ointment which you keep for your uh, when you break your leg or when you get a scratch you keep an ointment providen providon providine iodine it is called a tube you will get you can use the tube to do this test please be careful when doing the test at home don't put that thing into your mouth it should not come into your mouth so try to do the experiment at home and write down your findings in your notebook so that is what you have to do you have to write down do the experiment and write down the findings in your notebook so when you are doing your experiment take different items so i have given you a table there is a table in the textbook look into this table in that table you can write down you can take different other things not only rice or congee water you can take different vegetables do the iodine test find out if it contains carbohydrates and complete the table so we understood what is carbohydrate carbohydrate can is there in the form of starch it is stored in different parts of the plant it is a combination of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so this is the class for today children i hope you have understood thank you